At this point in time, I'd like to introduce Dean and Dr. Mark Penn. Uh, Mark is new to the area. He's been a great contributor to everything that we've done. We uh, formed a GME task force in June of last year, and Dr. Penn was part of that task force. And I think you're going to hear some great announcements coming out in the upcoming months about the expansion of GME here in Las Vegas, which will be huge and instrumental for the growth of the Rosemary School of Medicine. So with that being said, I'll introduce uh, Dr. Mark Penn. Well, good evening. Uh, my wife Becky and I just got back from Ohio. We flew in this afternoon, and the weather was very similar there as it is here. Um, we've been here just a short period of time and uh, have really appreciated living in Las Vegas. This has become our home, our new home. Uh, we do have family in Ohio, which we say, well, we can bring you out here and we can visit you there as well. So. Uh, but this is a great place for us to be and to live and, uh, and to work. And we're just very, very pleased to be here and very thankful. I want to speak about uh, of just a few things, just three quick things in a moment. But I do want to thank Heels for this event. I've come to appreciate this event a lot. I know Ann Lynch has spearheaded this as well as Doug. And Doug has just done a remarkable job in, uh, in bringing this forward and doing a lot of things over the course of the time that I've been here. Um, and I just really appreciate it, Doug. Thank you so much for everything that you have done. I also want to thank our team that helped us put things together here. I know Jason Roth, Brenda Griego, Carol Hollitz, Becky Penn. There's others around here. I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for us. I also want to acknowledge our president, uh, Renee Kaufman, who is here. It's always very important to acknowledge those that you work for, and I really appreciate that. I also would like to say that I want to pay tribute, pay tribute to the other medical schools that are here. Uh, Toro University, Shelley Berkeley was here. I know Shelley is still here, but I did want to say thank you to her for coming. But Toro has been here for a while, um, and they've done a great work in this community, and they're going to continue to do so. Uh, I know that UNR and UNSOM, basically, uh, as, a, as an entity, has been doing a lot of great work, and has started a lot of wonderful things here, bringing you know, medical students into the area, and bringing residency training programs and things like that, and just some wonderful patient care. UNLV is on the cusp of doing something as well. And one thing, Roseman, you haven't heard a lot about Roseman, and we're just so thankful you're here because you're going to start to hear more and more things about Roseman. Um, the reason for that is, is that we are in the process of doing multiple things here that you'll begin to hear things about. So what I want to tell you about are three things. First of all, I want to talk about facility. Number two are people. And number three are values. First of all, the facility that you're in here when you talk about being thankful for something, we just had Thanksgiving, we are very grateful to be able to obtain this building to start a medical school. Phenomenal facility, 184,000 square feet. You couldn't ask for anything better. Um, the first and second floor is already built out for the researchers that we already have here and that we're going to be adding to in a very short order this next year. The third floor is shelled out. That means that it hasn't been built out. The basement is shelled out, and it's ready to be built for medical education. And so you'll see some of the things, those of you that will come and say, maybe take a tour, you'll see what we're thinking. So facility is important, but guess what? It's not the facility that makes what Roseman say great. It's the people that make Roseman great, and the affiliations and the partnerships and the collaborations that Roseman has that makes it great. Uh, President Kaufman and her husband and others basically put together Roseman with very high standards. And that's what drew me here to say, well, what brought you here from Ohio? Well, what drew me to Roseman was the fact that I liked the educational philosophy. And that's going to be one of the distinctives for our medical school, is the educational philosophy with high standards and a mastery learning. And we'll see that, and our hope is, is obviously that we're going to see that play out with the students that we have and the, and the outcomes that we have. Very, very important. So people are important. The community is important to us, and you'll see that as we move forward. Obviously, the partnerships that we have that we're developing are going to be very important. I've been reaching out to all the hospitals, been reaching out to all the CEOs, all of the different uh, physicians that, that I can. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm learning about the physician community here. And uh, I just welcome any physician that wants to talk with me about his potential working with Roseman in the future 
so you can understand what my philosophy would be and, and how we will move forward. Certainly would welcome any conversation. Um, the other part of this is we're looking at any of the other healthcare professionals, because one of the things that Roseman wants to do is not just a medical school, we're eventually going to be doing an academic health system. Now, I didn't say center, but I'm saying a system because a center basically seems like it's a building and it's not. So it is an integrated, coordinated system for Southern Nevada that will work to help improve not only the medical education that we're going to be delivering, but also patient care, expand and extend those patient care services that we need to have here. And one of the ways that we're gonna do that is to partner with existing physicians and hospitals and practices, because that's what you do. One thing that you always understand about me is, is that we're not going to basically say no to the local community. We're not gonna be rude to the local community. We're gonna re be reaching out with our hand and saying, how can we help you? How can we work with you? So facility, people, and then lastly, our values. And I'll finish on this, and then we're gonna show you just a two minute, two and a half minute, a rendition of what this particular building can look like in the future. When I began to dream about our, our College of Medicine, it wasn't just a matter of something that just happened. It's something that had a lot of thought. And I developed a vision, a vision statement for 2026 for this region. I know what I would like to see this region look like and what Roseman's part will be and what the part of the other healthcare providers working with us will be. Along with that healthcare vision, I developed a strategic plan. As a part of that then, I developed my values. The values you'll see here are listed and it's what we're gonna be building our medical school on, number one, and our academic health system around, number two. You'll see here in the middle, very clearly, the patients, the patients will be at the center core of everything that we do. And everybody that I hire in the College of Medicine when it comes to a faculty member or staff member will aspire to these values. And every one of the medical students that we admit to our program will be admitted around these values. I'm gonna point out just a couple of them for you. You can see them all here and I won't read them to you. But competence, number one, is something that we all want in our physicians. We want them to be competent. I believe the high standards that Roseman has and that we're gonna be using in our medical school program will help us to attain the competence that we would like to see. The other part is the patients within the community. It's critical. We want to make sure that we're attending to, listening to the community and the needs of the community and the patients of the community and develop our curriculum around the needs of the community, around the patients within the community. And that's something that we will continue to work on over this next year. So those are our values we'll build on. So my last comments are, where are we right now? Our goal is 2017. One thing I would share with you is, is that you sometimes run into bumps along the way of any kind of accreditation process. And so I say 2017 is our goal. If we can't make 2017, 2018 will be the likely follow-up to that point. But we're gonna get there. And the reason we're gonna get there is because this means so much to the Roseman philosophy to get out into the community, to be successful, to help with the healthcare provision here in this community. So 2017, we will be starting with 60 medical students. We've been saying that from the very beginning. We will not grow beyond 60, just to let you know, medical students per year, unless we are able to find enough clinical rotations and sites. We need to be sensitive to the hospitals as well as the physicians in the community. And so as we find sites and build them, because we will be a part of building new sites, helping new sites, we're gonna help the hospitals, we're gonna be building GME. The point is, is early on, we may have to stay at a lower number, but as we grow, we're gonna grow with the system to what we can do in the future. But 60 will be where we start, and we'll see where we go from there. So that's where we are right now, and I'm in the process, of just the last thing, I'm in the process of hiring. We right now have 18 people in our College of Medicine, and that's exciting. Back on March 31st, President Kaufman would say we had nobody in the medical school. She hired me on April 1, and since that time we now have 18, 
And between now and the next four to five months, I'll be adding another six to eight people. And then beyond that, we'll continue to add more people into our program. But it's faculty, it's staff, and it's administrators that we need to build a medical school. Why you haven't heard a lot about Roseman is because we want to do it the right way. And we're basically doing things, basically in a sense, that's somewhat quiet because we don't want to be out there and making a lot of noise, because there's really no need. We've got to do it right because it means so much to this community. So with that, let's go and take a look at what this building can look like.